order the pies. Who needs rules anyway? Tyler, what's all the shouting about? Ugh, rules. What about them, Tyler? Today at school, we had a fire drill. Yeah, and? The rule says we're supposed to get in the line and not talk. And I got in trouble for making Lulu laugh. Well, a fire drill's really not the time for saying something funny. But I didn't say anything. I was just pretending I had the hiccups. And that's why you got in trouble. Yeah, I think that rule is so... <laughs> arbitrary. You mean it's a rule that you think somebody made for no reason. Exactly. I wish there were no rules. They just get you in trouble. Hmm. You wish there were no rules. That gives me an idea. Pinky, are you going to make up a story? Yes, sir, Rooney Positivity. Yes, sir, Rooney Positivity. Okay, so one day, in the middle of the deep blue sea, Pinky Dinky Doo and her friend Nicholas Biscuit found themselves on a great big deserty island. A great big deserted island! Pinky, does that mean we're the only ones here? Not a great big deserted island! A great big deserty island! I'm Mr. Big Chief Guinea Pig! Welcome! Nice to meet you, Chief. But why is this place called Great Big Desserty Island? Because it comes with a dessert, naturally! Come on, I'll give you a tour! You've seen part of this nutritious breakfast beach, of course. And this is Tutti Fruity Forest. And over there in the distance is our huge hill of beans. But our pride and joy is here in the center of the island. This is the pie patch! A field that grows pies? Now that's something you don't see every day. Wait a minute, Pinky. What is it, little brother? Pies don't grow in fields. They come from the grocery store. But this is a made-up story, Tyler. So anything can grow in a field. Now, where was I? As the leader of the island, I'd like to offer you a traditional great big deserty island welcome. It's a very small slice of rhubarb dill pie. Ooh, ah! Wow, this looks great. But how should we eat it? Should we use our hands to scoop it up? Nah, too goopy. Should we eat it on a stick like a lollipop? Nah, too spinny. <laughs> I know! How about eating it with a fork? Perfect! That's good pie! Everything on our island's pretty tasty, if I do say so myself. And you should help yourselves to all of it! Yeah! That's so nice of you! There's only one rule, and it's a biggie! Do not help yourselves to any more pie! Ah! Well, gotta go! No problem, Mr. Big Chief Guinea Pig! We won't help ourselves to any more pie. Well, that rule doesn't make much sense. Yeah, that rule was... <laughs> arbitrary! So Pinky and Nicholas spent the day exploring <laughs> Great Big Deserty Island. <laughs> and it was super yummy fun. This is one tasty island, Pinky! But towards the end of the day, all Pinky could think about was that pie patch. Man, a piece of pie would taste pretty good right about now. That's apple dapple pie. And that one's pumpkin lumpkin. And lemon persimmon. This patch grows every kind of pie in the world. Pinky, isn't that against the rules? Hey, Nicholas, these pies are going to go to waste if we don't eat them. Sweet. So they took just a tiny taste at first of coconut clambo cream pie. And boy, was it fantastic. <laughs> Man, I'm full. 
I hope it's okay that we broke the chief's rule. That rule seemed kind of... <laughs> arbitrary, didn't it? Yeah, I bet the chief just made that rule up for no reason. <laughs> Whoa, Nicholas, that was a really loud... <laughs> What's making us... <laughs> I can't <laughs> think of a single reason. <laughs> yeah, it's so... <laughs> arbitrary. Just then, they saw the chief coming. Oh, no! <laughs> He's gonna be mad that we broke the rule! <laughs> Hide! So Pinky and Nicholas hid. <laughs> what do we do now? I don't know! <laughs> I can't stop! <laughs> Somebody do something! <laughs> Pinky Dinky Doo knew that it was time to think big. I better look out! Pinky's gonna think big! If I have a problem, don't know which way to go, I think and think and think and think. And suddenly I know. Come on, Pink, think! <laughs> and then it happened. Pinky Dinky Doo had a big idea. Pinky Dinky Doo knew just what to do. Nicholas, we need to go to the chief and apologize for... Breaking the rule. I've been looking everywhere for you. We're sorry, Mr. Big Chief Guinea Pig. We broke your rule and ate the pies, and now we can't stop ing. I know exactly how you feel. I did the same thing when I first came to the island. I get hiccups from eating too much pie. So that's why you gave us just a small piece and said we couldn't eat anymore. But I just didn't want you to get hiccups. Wow, your rule was the opposite of arbitrary. It was really thoughtful. We're sorry we broke your rule, Mr. Big Chief Guinea Pig. We should have listened to you. Here, drink this fizzy fresh water. You'll feel better. Thanks. Excuse me. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Pretty much. The end. Gee, Pinky, it sounds like there was a good reason for that pie rule after all. Right, Tyler. So, do you think there might be a good reason for not making noise during a fire drill at school? Well, we do need to be quiet to hear what the fire chief has to say. That's really, really important. It sure is, little brother. Next time, I'll just be glad I don't really have the hiccups. <laughs> Sounds like game time! Say cheese, please! Cheese, please! All right, let's play Eat It or Wear It. Eat it or wear it, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see something you're supposed to eat, shout, eat it! Let's practice. A pie lollipop? Eat it! When you see something you're supposed to wear, shout, wear it! A groovy yellow suit. Wear it! Okay, let's play. A submarine sandwich. Eat it! A grass skirt. Wear it! A roller coaster hat. Wear it! Pears from the Tutti Fruity Forest. Eat it! Good job! Okay, let's play a game called Was This a Setting? Was this a setting? I'm going to show you different settings or places. When you see a setting that was in the made-up story, shout yes! If it wasn't a setting in the made-up story, we're going to shout no! Right, little brother. Okay, let's play. Was this a setting in my made-up story? Yes, that was a setting in your made-up story. 
The pie patch is where you and Nicholas ate the pie and got the hiccups. Good job. How about Hoopty Doop Stadium? No, Pinky. Hoopty Doop Stadium wasn't a setting in your made-up story. That's right, little brother. Okay, how about the Great Big Circus? Was this a setting in my made-up story? No, Pinky. You sure are good at this, Tyler. Okay, one more. Was this a setting in my made-up story? Yes, Great Big Deserty Island is where you and Nicholas met Mr. Big Chief Guinea Pig. Yep, that's exactly where it happened. Pretty much. I love making up stories, and I bet you can make up a story, too. <laughs>